Welcome to my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. This is Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty and StampinPretty.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you can visit me on my blog StampinPretty.com for daily tips, paper crafting ideas, resources, and a place to shop for Stampin' Up! products. One of the things that really stood out for me in the Stampin' Up! 2017 to 2018 annual catalog was the Lemon Zest Bundle, which I used to create this card. I absolutely love the perfect little punch to crop out the lemon as well as the leaves. It's called the Lemon Builder Punch. And then the coordinating stamp set uh, that I used to stamp the lemon and the leaves. It's called Lemon Zest. And if you purchase the Lemon Zest Zest Bundle, which is the punch and the coordinating stamps together, you save 10%, which is always fun. So a really amazing stamp set, and they work so well together. A couple of the other cool products that I use, this is the Pick a Pattern Washi Tape. I used the larger one. Um, it's just that perfect little pop of pattern. So easy to apply washi tape. You can mix layers. You can use a partial layer and tear it off. There's lots of ways to use it. And another newer product um, that I love from the Stampin' Up! catalog, and I wanted to show you how I keep them in our um, stamp cases, are these glitter dots. Um, they're just marvelous. They're in a range of shades of green, berry, uh, curry, and blue. It may actually be a specific color, but they're such a nice range that I want to limit myself to just one Stampin' Up! color. They really go with so many things, and they store really nicely here. And I thought this olive version with that lovely yummy iridescence was perfect as that final little polish for this card. Um, and then last but not least is a whisper white envelope that I paper snipped some of our color theory designer series paper. Um, what made me absolutely bananas excited was the fact that it has a distressed sort of finish, more of a cracked paint finish which really mirrored um, how that stamp is designed for the lemon too. But I have a great tip for you today and I'm going to be using the classic label punch and you can see how that shape um, points out but you can also use it to create the little flag. Um, so let me show you how simple that is. I'm going to use some of our archival basic black ink and then the stamps that I use for the sentiment on the lemon I had sweet and then I'm going to use its little companion, As Can Be. And then I've mounted uh, As Can Be. I'm going to ink it up. I'm at an angle, so I'm hoping it will stamp nice and clean. I see a little kitty hair there. That's not unusual in this home. All right. And then um, just a quick tip. I like to use a piercing mat or something with a little bit of give uh, with my photopolymer stamps, I feel like I get just a little bit better, uh, crisper image. Okay, so let's take this and I am going to go in and I am going to pretty much center this as best I can. And this again is the classic label punch. And I'm going to use it this direction to just crop off the end. Might as well use everything I've got, right? make it easy and I'm just lining it up so it's nice both sides the length on both sides is even okay and then I'm going to use the point end to create the flag and again I'm just lining it up within I kind of let it grab just slightly and make sure I've got it right and then I pop it in and you can add a little um, uh, glimmer dot like I did if you'd like. Oops. So again I'll show you the card and then this little as can be. And so now you've got a new way to use the classic label punch. Great mileage from our products. Thank you for joining me for my one minute to wow video tutorial. Please leave me a comment on YouTube if you have any questions or comments. I love your feedback and I'll get back to you promptly. Bye bye.